Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH 2000 here. Got three slingshots. One with the red 1632. One with the amber colored 1632. And one with the new simple shot 1632. Okay. I'm going to start with the red. I'm going to start with the red one. Okay, I kind of got a feel for the speed on that one. As I've known for a while, but I haven't really shown in a video or proven, that amber is, the red is uh, definitely a little more powerful, a little more snappy than the amber. Um, it just, it responds faster. I, I don't know why, just a little bit. Maybe it's just my perception, I don't know. So now let's try the Simple Shot Black, see where it performs. Now understand, these bands have never been shot, so I'm going to give them four or five rounds to kind of warm them up and see where we land. Yeah, pulled it out. It's okay. They're a little more stretchy than the others, so I might, I might shorten them just a touch. It's nothing serious, guys. I just pulled it out of the Ocularis plugs. I'm going to shorten I'm going to shorten these bands just a touch cuz they feel a little more stretchy. than the than the others. They pulled back further. Nothing wrong with that. That actually happens between each set of tubes I get. we go okay let's see how these feel I like them.
if if I was to hazard a guess without putting a crony up here, I'd say that these are these are probably on par with the red ones, um, which makes them a touch stronger than the amber ones. Here's the amber ones that I've used. Here's the simple shot. And the red ones, I have no idea when and where I got these. I just, I, I seem to have them. I've had them some, some time back. I think they're the Dan Kong, um, whatever, uh, super fast or whatever they call them or snappy. But I really like this from Simple Shot. I really like these. They shoot quite well, actually. And they're very zippy, uh, quite snappy, and the response the response is quite good. And for those of you who were watching, I shoot 12 millimeter, and it was hauling it down there. You heard the last shot; it thumped in the back of the catch box. That means it's at least exceeding 300 feet per second. Okay somewhere in the 275 300 range to make a thump that big that's just that's just what I know from my catch box um, someday I'll set up the crony when the sunlight's better and see what these actually do but it's a really nice product I can vouch for the 1632s from simple shot and it's nice to know that we got a supplier right here in the states now so we can get them within two or three days Nice job, Nathan.